Okay, hello, hi guys. Uh, it's me, Dono, again from RSA. I'm doing a review on my friend's um, pistol. It's the Glock 17, which I actually did a review before, but this time I'm going to like. Uh, my friend just bought this brand new and uh, he want me to change this 150% um, hammer spring from shooter design for him because uh, when I had <coughs> my um, TM Glock 17 uh, I had the light strike problems which uh, a lot of people had came across so because this pistol is mainly designed for 134A gas which is a weaker gas than the green gas but you know for us uh, regular guys we like to use uh, the green gas so um, but uh, before replacing the hammer spring I'm going to chrono this uh, pistol out of the box see if it can I mean shoot with the uh, green gas, I'm not sure it does, but uh, I tried a few shots before, uh, it works, so let's see how it performs. <clears throat> so now I have my um, chronograph ready. It's, uh, I don't have 0.2 BBs at the moment, I only have 0.25 so let's go with the 0.25 and see how the Glock 17 uh, stock one, how it performs. I have loaded with some BBs and uh, sorry and the got a green gas. Okay. So count 287.4, it's not bad, 281, 279, 78, sorry, and uh, 304, 304.9, 299.5, 271.0. So from shot to shot, it uh, varies quite a lot. Okay, the last one was 290 something I read. And uh, this last one, the very last one is uh, 264. So it's averaging at around uh, 280 to 290 with 0.25 grams BBs. That's uh, one, uh, one juice almost. The last one is 0.81. Jewel, so uh, the stock actually performs very well, I say. Um, and let's see how how it does like after I replace it with this uh, hammer spring. So um, job is done, and uh, here is the old one, which has a little shorter. Oh, spring again here the new one the uh, enhanced one has a little slightly longer spring again at the long at the long side here so um I have uh, replaced the hammer spring and so um and put the whole pistol together again so let's test it again with the 0.25 BBs like before Okay, load up some BBs and uh, gather green gas and uh, let's see how it performs after the um, replacement. Okay, first shot 295, 317, 290, 315. 285, 
273 at the end. So um, yes, the slide lock back, everything function normally with the replacement hammer spring. Well, um, you can see after replacing uh, the hammer spring with a stronger one, this one sets actually is 150%. Um, the performance at the especially the FPS goes up um, quite quite a lot I say because uh, initially uh, this pistol was performing between the 270 260 something 270 to up to like 300 305 I, uh, I remember but uh, just now you can see the reading uh, went all the way up to 315 or so which is like over one joules definitely so um hope you enjoyed the video uh, I would do some more reviews if there, uh, if there is need and uh, hope my friends would get more pistols for me to experiment on so uh, thank you for watching